This now from a North Providence nursing home, a very critical, dangerous situation taking place. Now dozens of residents have tested positive for the virus. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin. Pamela Gomes is understandably worried about her sister, who is a resident at Golden Crest Nursing Center in North Providence. The town now has 61 confirmed cases of COVID-19, and 55 of them are linked to Golden Crest. The Department of Health says four residents there have died. Two women were the two additional COVID-19 related deaths reported Thursday in Rhode Island, one in her 80s, the other in her 90s. The Department of Health says both were residents of Golden Crest Nursing Home. Is this nursing home going to be the epicenter for coronavirus and nursing homes in Rhode Island? Pamela Gomes says her younger sister is a resident at Golden Crest and she has lung issues. Gomes says when she spoke to staff at the home on Tuesday, everything seemed fine. Her sister had just tested negative for COVID-19, but the death of four residents at the home is now causing concern. As a family member, I want to know what's going on with her because of the epidemic that we have now. Um, but, you know, reality says that they have a limited amount of staff and that they can only do as much as they can do. Gomes says she hopes every employee at Golden Crest is wearing protective equipment. In an email, Department of Health spokesman Joseph Wendelkin said it's not a matter of personal protective equipment or anything that the Golden Crest didn't do fast enough. The issue is that older adults are extremely vulnerable to the complications of COVID-19. On Monday, the Department of Health said there were only 15 confirmed cases of coronavirus connected to three nursing homes in the state. Now there are 120 cases in congregate living settings like nursing homes. Although her sister has tested negative for the virus, Gomes remains concerned. And I think that's what I'm feeling is that I am totally powerless over what happens. I was grateful that she wasn't positive, but she's in a place where that can happen at any time. We have reached out to the administrator at Golden Crest for comment, and we are still waiting to hear back. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.